Everyone is trying to kill me, and so far they've only managed to do it once. If you like to read, if you like to think, if you like to see the world differently, grab yourself a book, give the show a listen, Purple Lit Nerd gonna show you what you're missing. Welcome to the Purple Lit Nerd Podcast for June the 9th, 2018. I am your host, the amazingly adorable Rebecca Thistle, podcasting to you live-ish from my kitchen slash dining room table in my apartment, which I call Jeffrey Thistlework. Yes. So, before I go any further, um, spoiler alert. Because that's what you have to do these days. It's like, ooh, there's going to be spoilers, so if you don't want this spoiled... And I, you didn't know, and like, I get it, I get it, I get it, you know, whatever. I'm, I'm not trying to, you know, be critical, but I'm one of these people that, for the most part, I don't care about spoilers, because to me, like, if it's spoiled because of some little bit of information that you didn't previously know, then that's on you. <laughs> because for me, having that information doesn't mean I can't enjoy the journey along the way so anyways but I know not everybody thinks like me so if you care about spoilers and you have not read the Iron Druid Chronicles by Kevin Hearn then stop listening stop freaking listening right now (laughs) and go um go get the books go get the books Actually, even better, go get them on fucking audio. Oh my god, I love Luke Daniels. Oh, <laughs> I love him. <clears throat> He's the best audiobook narrator, and I will cut a bitch who wants to argue that. <laughs> I will. So, uh, spoilers. Anyway, so this week I'm talking, summarizing, um, Hunted, which is the sixth book in this series. But before I can get into Hunted, if you'll recall from last week's show, Trapped actually ends on a cliffhanger. Like, a huge fucking cliffhanger. And, oh my gosh. <laughs> what a cliffhanger. So I, I didn't want to, like, end last week's show on on the same self-same cliffhanger. So, <laughs> so I have to start at the beginning of Trapped. So when... At the end of Trapped, uh, Atticus and Granuel are going on like a druid world tour of elementals, and he's like introducing her to all the elementals and showing her all the, um, specifically they're in Romania, and he's trying to show her like the old ways, like passages into Tirnanog, which are the ways that you can get into Tirnanog without having to use trees because only druids and the Tuadananan can use the trees. Like, the lesser fey and mortals cannot use the trees, but they can use these old ways, which are usually, like, in a forest somewhere or in a cave somewhere, and it's just sort of like this portal into Tirnanog. And sometimes, apparently, sometimes mortals do uh, get trapped in there. Anyways, so, um, what am I saying? Oh, so Atticus is, is doing this with Grandy Whale when, out of nowhere, bum, 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 the Morrigan shows up and she goes, or no, 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 not bum, 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 dramatic reverb. That's what it is. Artemis and Diet. Di- di- Artemis and Diana, the Greek and Roman goddesses of the hunt, respectively, Artemis being Greek, Diana being Roman, show up and start shooting arrows at them. And then the Morgan comes in like fucking Superman and she takes the arrows in her super awesome goddess shield and she goes, 
fucking run because they're after you. And so she starts fighting them off so that Atticus and Granuel can get a head start. Um, and that's how Trapped ends. Hunted begins at that exact moment. <laughs> And so Atticus and Graduel start running, and um, the Morrigan, who has like a psychopathic link to Atticus, much the same way that Atticus has that psychopathic communicative link with Oberon, uh, the Morrigan starts communicating to him about what what's going on. He says, "She says, look, you put Bacchus on a time island, and the Romans are pissed." By the way, Bacchus is the Roman god of chaos and wine and insanity and all sorts of crazy crap like that. And so, in order, if you'll recall, in order to 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 kind of get to that point, and in order to bind Granuel to the earth so that they weren't trapped on Olympus, they had to do the same thing with some dryads and the dryads um are part of both the greek and roman pantheons so it's like one set of dryads for two pantheons of deities and so artemis and diana love the dryads because that's how they are and so that's why they've got this personal vendetta so anyway so the morrigan is holding off the huntresses so that Atticus and Granuel can get a head start and she goes and so she's psychopathically that's how that's 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 yeah it, it's a funny quirky thing that, that my family does so she's psychopathically um communicating to Atticus what's going on that they're pissed off about Bacchus they want Bacchus back and they're hunting him down and the only way that he can get out of this alive because she has done her div 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 divination and she's done her homework and she's thought it out and she's super awesome um the only way that he can do that is if they run across Europe and swim the uh Strait of Dover is that what it's called anyways swim across to um England, go to Windsor Forest, which is the domain of Hearn the Hunter, which uh, I'll get into him in a little while, um, and shift back to Tiernan Oak. And she then communicates to Atticus that she knows this is the last time that she's going to do battles she knows like she she knows her end is near because the the celtic deities are not immortal problem is the greek ones are the greek and the roman deities are like you can hack them into pieces and they can still regenerate from the mess so um but the morgan says you know i'm about to die but before I go, here's a parting gift. And she sends him an image of a time island with a certain um, address written in Ogham script. And she says, memorize it. That's my parting gift. Somebody's there that you're going to want to rescue. I put him there a long time ago because of reasons. Um, and then she proceeds to say that she, for the past 2,000 years, has always loved him but that she also knows that he never loved her back in the same way. And um, and she expresses that she, the regret and the frustration she feels at the fact that she cannot be the person that she wants to be because she is a goddess and so her existence is completely dictated by human belief, which means she is what humans believe her to be. Which is often a very sadistic, dark mistress type um, entity, very sociopathic and and well, like I said, sadistic. Um, and because of that, she scares people, and she knows that she scares people. Specifically, she knows that she scares Atticus, and she has tried to change because she loves him that she can't because she's still bound by that human belief. And so the only way that she can break free of that is to allow the Huntresses to kill her. And so with that, 
she dies. That's a very sad moment. So, Atticus and Granuel strip down to the nude and start running, uh, often in the form of a stag. And so this this whole this whole novel is really just them running across Europe. And there's a lot of adventures and shenanigans that that happen. There's dark elves and vampires and you know the 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 thing I said at the very beginning before the, 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 the before the theme song. Um, is actually uh, from Atticus. It it's basically sums it up. Everybody's trying to kill me, and so far they've only managed to do it once. So I'm going to try and summarize like the highlights. So they run from Romania, on, you know, with the help of the, the elementals um, kind of guiding them, keeping them away from cities and, and, and people because, you know, they're naked. When they're in their human form, they're naked, but oftentimes they run in their host form, drawing extra strength and extra energy and 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 replenishing their cells and stuff from the magic of the earth. <coughs> Eventually, they get into Poland, where they find themselves in an onion field. Guess who's in the onion field? Malina Sokowowski. And her coven, actually, it's Sokowowska in Poland for reasons I don't entirely understand. Um, and they're like, oh, well, we thought that, you know, we, we did our own divination and something, like, insane was supposed to happen. And Atticus is going, okay. Because this is a very awkward moment because 13 members of this coven... Uh, because they have moved back to Poland and replenished their coven. If you'll recall from Hext, um, their coven was diminished down to six, no, uh, five members. At the beginning of Hext, it was six members, but then they lost one because hammers of God are assholes. Um, so they have five members at the end of Hext, and now we meet him again in Hunted, they've moved back to Poland, replenished their coven, and now they are 13, which means they are strong and much more powerful. So they're in this onion field with Atticus and Granuel naked, and it's kind of awkward, and they go, well, we divined some, like, big fire was supposed to start here. And guess who shows up? Fucking Loki! Foom! And... That's a problem. Loki's out to get Atticus. Loki's out to burn the world and start Ragnarok. And Atticus is going, oh, shit. So he convinces Melina and her coven to subdue the him with their witchy magic charms and keep him subdued for a month. And a month of this... A, a month of a trapped and drooling, essentially, Loki would equal a year of no vampires in Poland because the witches don't want vampires in Poland. So, um, so Attica says, great. I'm going to go. By the way, Artemis and Diana are after me, and so are the Dark Elves. And... So's Garm, you know, and, and, and Loki's daughter, Hell, her dog, Garm, uh, can shift planes and can hunt down anything, so he'll be along fairly soon. So, have fun with that. Bye! And runs. <laughs> and they're all going, what the fuck? Anyways, that was really funny. <coughs> so they continue on their journey, a few little shenanigans here and there, and then in Germany... Guess what happens? Atticus gets shot in the head. No joke. Fucking shot in the head. And so, Granuel and Oberon believe him to be dead. So, it is at this point that we start seeing chapters narrated by Granuel. So, Granuel kills the guy that shot Atticus because that's what she does. And she and Oberon decide to keep moving so that the Huntresses don't kill them. And Oberon says, you know what? I'm tired of running. Let's, let's kill them. Or, you know, let's, let's make a final stand. I know it's like, 